Well, g'day and welcome to a new video. We're in the vicinity of a week and a half to two weeks across these five sections post mini renovation. So look, we're seeing some signs of green out here, which is really, really nice. Let's get things tidied up and then have a closer look at some of the areas, some of the problem areas and some that are looking quite good. Things always look a lot nicer after a tidy up, after a haircut, but we're not going too bad. There's, you know, patches of sand which are going to continue to fill in. We've got some really nice brand new shoots of green growth, which is really, really encouraging to see. But now a comment that I've seen on a few videos on YouTube recently is about the soil looking really crappy and lifeless. So this area generally is quite a poor place to grow grass. So let's just take out some soil and see how it looks. That is, yeah, very crumbly and crappy. You look at that. Yeah, bit dry, bit crumbly. It does have that real earthy smell, not that kind of stale, crappy smell. And yeah, I'm obviously going to be pumping the nutrients into this lawn, trying to correct my deficiencies in the soil nutrients. Um, look, I had a few comments about sandy loam and things like that. I'm probably leaning towards using sandy loam next spring. Um, would my lawn be a million times better if I had to use sandy loam rather than wash sand this season? I'm not sure. Um, like I said in that last video, really not ideal to do this light top dress that I did do. I probably could have avoided it. I probably could have just put the sand in a pile somewhere. But anyway, forecast from today is 21, 21, 28, 28, 27, 23, 19, 21, 20, 21. So it's dying off. But look, I have experienced here decent growth uh, throughout April into May. I would say that May last year was almost the best my backyard has ever looked so yeah it's not like we hit may sorry april and it's just the grass is growing bang stops growing so yeah i'm optimistic i'm not super super comfortable with having my lawn look like this right now at this time of year but i'm fortunate to be at home most of the time and have the ability to come out here and have some extra kind of things in the kit bag that i can throw at it to help it recover or give it the best chance um, so we'll just keep chipping away at it and it's all a bit of a project and some learning, you know? And when it does come to considering the top dress that um, I use, my uh, result for organic matter in my soil, when I got my full soil analysis done, I actually thought, you know what? This could come back and indicate that I should have been using compost um, and organics, but it came back with um, right in the middle of the, the good range or whatever the, the terminology is for organic matter when I did that test. Wow, well out here on this little project patch, I just lost my last clip that I recorded, but I just had my um, cart topping up a couple of little spots of sand out here. Today is a week post renovation. Um, heavy scalp scarify top dress. And look, I actually, I can't stress enough how much this is a pure project and I'm just looking forward to seeing exactly what happens at this time of year. If my entire backyard looked like this, I'd feel a lot more nervous. I strangely feel a lot less nervous with it being this spot than I do the front lawn because the front lawn is sort of more important to me of getting it to look good. Whereas out here, it's just like, oh, you know, whatever. We'll see how it goes. Like if it's complete crap, I'll, I might even just chuck some rye seed or something on it in a few weeks if it's looking like not coming along. Um, but yeah, it's um, 
just a bit of fun and a bit of playing around and pushing the limits. So it's not a, you should do this at this time of year. It's more of a just, just try something and just see. So yeah, I've been watering twice a day. Um, just whenever I sort of get up in the morning and wander out here. And then again around lunchtime for about four minutes or something like that per water. And that's been keeping it damp most of the day, which is exactly what I'm after. And yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Um, I did a comparison on my phone of the back lawn at five days versus this at five days. And the difference is pretty close. It's pretty close to looking the same. Back lawn definitely ahead quicker, but I've got a few things I can throw at this little area if I need to. So far feeling encouraged, but anyway, now I've got a bit of work out of the way on some pieces of lawn that I don't really love. Um, it's time to burn a new pattern on the back lawn. I'm really pumped for that. freshly cut grass can you so we're coming up to four weeks post reno and we're seeing some really tight nice grass here i need a double cut i think i will go and do another cut now um there's a few little spots where there's just a tiny little bit of sand over in that back corner is the part that needs to fill in the most the sun is sort of side on at the moment so not in perfect position for a straight up and down pattern it's not popping that much but only the first time doing that direction. So we'll see how it goes in two or three mows time. Something I am a bit worried about is potential fungal disease here. So I'm getting some yellowing leaves around the place and a couple of little spots. Something you do want to do with fungal disease is to try to let the lawn dry out a little bit, but just right with these little bits still to fill in, I sort of want to be watering just one notch below my maintenance watering, which is two waters per week for 30 minutes per zone with seasonal adjustment turned on. So it'll automatically adjust itself up or down uh, to account for cooler or hotter weather. So what I think I'm going to do is keep watering sort of about three times a week, maybe every second day or something like that for 20 minutes with seasonal adjustment turned on. I'll keep mowing regularly. I've got fertilizer to apply, liquid fertilizer next week. So I'll stay vigilant. I'll keep watching it if it's progressing and it's looking to really damage um, and threaten the spread of my lawn here, then I'll have to chuck out a, th a fungicide um, next week just to get on top of that and to make sure that it doesn't progress at this time of year. I don't want lots of damage to be getting done to a pretty recently renovated lawn. I want it to thicken up and be healthy to withstand winter. So anyway though, it is looking really, really tight and nice to stand back and look at just little bits, um, you know, that need to come in, finish filling in and looking really good. This recovery is about on par with what I experienced in November. So yeah, it's been a, uh, a really, really good renovation. And yeah, um, I can't remember if I said earlier in the video or not, but I am pretty much really looking forward to just just being in maintenance mode. No renos, no top, top up trenches, no, just yeah, I'm looking forward to things calming down and just being in maintenance, green, you know, mode of mowing it, looking after the edges, getting some other jobs done. I'm about to rip into my veggie garden again now, so looking forward to that. And yeah, I will probably give this another cut now. Keep listening to the podcast I had on, chill out, and uh, see you in the next video. Have a good one.